Good morning, Fairview. And again, happy Thursday. Uh, today we are continuing um, our study through the book of Psalms, and not only through the book of Psalms, but through Psalm 119. So today we are involved. We have gone through Aleph, Beit, Gimel, Dalet, He, and now Vav. Vav starts in Psalm 40, or verse 41 and continues to verse 48. You may notice in your Bibles that it'll say W-A-W -W and might want to be pronounced Wa, but it is Vav. Um, so, uh, before we get started, let us go to the Lord in prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for today. Thank you for this time that we get to spend together. For the world that you let us live in, where we can even have miracles, where we go ahead and put your word out on video, and people, and friends, and fellow believers can see this wherever they are. We ask that this would be pleasing to you, beneficial to us, that it would bring you and your kingdom glory both now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 19, Vav, starting in verse 41. Let your steadfast love come to me, O Lord, your salvation according to your promise. Then shall I have an answer for him who taunts me. Then, for I trust in your word. And take not the word of truth utterly out of my mouth, for my hope is in your rules. I will keep your law continually forever and ever. I shall walk in a wide place, for I have sought your precepts. I will also speak of your testimonies before kings, and shall not be put to shame, for I find my delight in your commandments, which I love. I will lift up my hand, my hands toward your commandments, which I love. I will meditate on your statutes. Here again, the psalmist is going ahead and talking about how important it is to know the word of the Lord, to look at his commandments, to respond to them with joy and love and adoration. But the other thing that I love here involved that I, that I think is special and maybe a bit unique, it says, Then I shall have an answer for him who taunts me, for I trust in your word. That is verse 42. In this verse, we see... Sometimes I think the struggle that we all have as, as, as we are getting closer to Christmas and celebrating Jesus' birth, his incarnation, um, there are people who, who don't believe, who think this is a farce, who are far more interested in Santa Claus and, and, and really might even think Jesus is not much different. Yet we are told it's not a debate. The Lord has given us an answer for him who taunts. And what is that answer? It is to trust in his word. It is to see the reliability that we have seen throughout time where God makes a promise and he keeps it. God makes a promise and he keeps it. And nothing, not circumstances, not powerful adversaries, not the devil himself is able to stop God. So whether it is politics and a nation that may be turning away from God and definitely seems to at time, whether it's our friends or family or neighbors who ridicule the belief, the Lord says that he has the answer and the answer is to trust him and to trust his word. I love the end of the book of Joshua where he goes ahead and says, but as for me and my house, we will trust the Lord. This is a great opportunity for us as we go into this Christmas season, as we are in Advent season, probably even now, to go ahead and look and ask, do we trust God? Do we trust his word? Do we depend on the answer that he has given for us? If so, then we don't have to worry about our adversaries because God has the answer and it's him we are trusting in. You have a wonderful day and God bless.